Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And in this video, we will be talking about the problem, the easy problem, baseball game of the daily lead code challenge. Okay, so we are keeping a score for a baseball game with strange rules. The game consists of several rounds where the score of past rounds may affect the future rounds. So there will be a game, and we need to track the score that uh, will be present in this game and it consists of several rounds and there are some of the parameters uh, that is being described over here and we need to perform the operation sufficiently such that we need to find the sum of all scores that is present on the record board in the last at the beginning of the game you start with an empty record you are uh, given a list of strings OPS where the OPS of I is the ith operation you must apply to the record is one of the following suppose you have a, we have been given an integer x we are going to record a new score x suppose we are given a plus sign we need to record a new score that will be the sum of the previous two scores that is present in the record board and if we are given the string d we are going to record a new score that is double the previous score and also it is being guaranteed that there will always be a previous score and if we have been given the value c the string c we need to remove the score that is present in the last at the scoreboard and finally we are required to return the sum of all scores present on the board okay so let's take an example and understand how we can uh, perform the operations efficiently so the string is 52c d plus okay so let's begin so we have been given 52 c d and finally plus sign okay so uh, initially an integer is given so we will record uh, store that integer in a stack now again it's another integer is given so note that this is the at the top of the stack after this operation now integer c comes so if you look out the meaning of c it says that we need to remove that previous record that is present so we'll remove this too so a stack becomes this this is the top present at the top of the stack now comes the d d means doubling operation so whatever the integer you can see uh, that is present in the last uh, score last record we need to double it so the new integer that will be pushed up is 5 into 2 okay so the orientation of the stack will look something like this so i will make it 5 and the 5 into 2 will become 10 and this is the top of the stack okay now we can see the plus sign plus sign denotes that we need to add up the scores that is present in the last last two scores which is 5 and 10 so the new string new integer that will be added to the stack is 5 plus 10 which is 15 so this is the stack and note that this will become the new top of the stack and here it uh, our iteration ends we need to return the sum of all the numbers that is present in the stack so this can be efficiently done by maintaining a another variable also so let us uh, look over the solution how we can how we are going to do that efficiently so we are going to maintain a sum variable that will keep up the sum of all the numbers that is present on the record currently right now so we also maintaining the stack uh, so that we can perform the output like we need to perform the addition as well as uh, popping out the elements efficiently so the best use case of some data structure is the stack data structure we are going to use over here okay you can also perform the operation in o of one like every time you need only the information of last two variables in case you will encounter this plus sign right you need to know the sum of the last two numbers that are present in the stack this can efficiently be done by maintaining two variables and also uh, if you are having the character d you need to multiply it by two it can be easily done by knowing the information of the only last variable that is present in the record and if you are having the c we need to remove out the elements so the best case for now is to use the stack right it will take o of n space okay so like uh, because sometimes it may happen uh, it may happen like uh, you have the lot of c uh, string c that will occur 
so you need to pop out the elements again pop out again pop out so you need to know the last two uh, at, like at most last two uh, numbers that is present in the record so you need to know the entire numbers that are present in the record board so like in a sequential manner so you need to know the we are going to use the stack so that it can store the numbers efficiently so whenever there is a plus sign you need you are going to uh, find out the current sum which is the sum of the scores of last two records present in the record record board so we are going to add up this sum and we are going to also push out the sum into the stack now suppose this s is d d means doubling operation so you will uh, add up the number sum uh, into like you need to double it and you need to push out in the stack so you can see i have just pushed out the last number score into two and also i am going to add up the sum which means that whatever the numbers that is present in the stack and the sum will store sum of all the scores now if it is c we need to remove out the last number which is stack dot back right and what about when we have a integer we need to add up that integer into the record board as well as in the sum so that it will keep track of all the scores that is present in the record so finally our answer is sum okay note that the time complexity is o of n like whenever we are going to insert our element where n is the number of insertion and the space complexity is also o of n maximum size of the stack will go uh, o of n where n is the number of times you are going to push out the elements into the stack so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video